Today I will show you how I built this red light therapy device for $50. The retail can go for over $500, but I managed to get all the components and build it myself. It took me about 30 minutes. Let's jump into it. A lot of people ask me, why don't you just get the light bulb and replace it and put it in any of these sockets? The problem is most of these newer design sockets, they're plastic and they're rated for low wattage. The red light lamp is rated for 250 watts and that would require the socket to be able to handle all this heat. The first thing you need to buy is this red light therapy bulb. It's called Sauna Red Light Therapy. I found a good quality with this company and it's rated for 250 watt. I highly suggest that you go with the limit that fits with your socket. So it really depends on the socket that you'll be getting and the wire that will be connected to the utility. The second component is the socket itself. This is a porcelain socket that I bought from the hardware store or you can buy it online. I'll put all the links in the description. The other component that you need to buy is the electrical switch and these are available in the hardware store. I put a link in the description and you need the electrical box. It can be metallic or it can be the plastic one as long as it has ground connection. The other thing I added is these stainless steel wires and you can buy a roll and then you can shape it. Here's exactly what I did. I got this piece of wood and I drilled around the socket and behind the socket I put these screws so everything is connected to ground and the ground is connected back to the utility plug. The last thing you need is three prong wire that goes it has a ground and it needs to be rated for high amperage. So the first step is to secure the socket to the wood and then you need to drill a hole for this electrical switch and behind the scenes you need to connect the socket and then from the input you need to connect it to the utility plug so what you need to do is to take a piece of this wire and connect it to the socket from the output and the input will be connected all the way to the utility so in terms of cost the light bulb costed me around thirty dollars the socket costed me about three dollars the switch is about two dollars the electric box in the back about three dollars these stainless steel wires for shielding costed me around five dollars and this heavy duty three prong wire is about eight dollars so if you add them together that will be about ten percent of what you will pay for a professional device that is more than $500. Thanks for watching. See you next time.